Okay, folks, I'm back. And like I said today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some chili relinos. So I made the salsa verde already, and you've seen that video. Turn that up so you can see me. And uh, next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making the chili relinos. So with the chili relinos, i would gotten four of Anaheim peppers. I preheated the oven to broil, so it's at 550 degrees. We're going to roast these inside the oven up on the top shelf. We want to blacken the skin, so what we're going to do is we're going to put them in. It'll take about 10 minutes. About every five minutes, well, twice, we're going to flip them over. Uh, we want to brown and blacken both sides. We're then going to put them inside of our mixing bowl, and we're going to cover it with some saran wrap. Actually, I'm using a Kling Plus, which works really well. And uh, we're going to let them kind of like sit there and steam for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to peel them, slice them, take out the seeds and the pith on the inside, and then we're going to stuff them with cheese, coat them, fry them up, and eat them. They're going to be delicious. Oh, I just can't wait. So anyway, as uh, stay tuned with me. We're going to, first, I'm going to turn the uh, camera down so you can see what I'm doing here. So I've got my baking sheet. I'm going to add my peppers onto it. And I've used tin foil on my baking sheet. Now I use this for two different reasons. The aluminum foil helps to uh, brown them up nice and also makes it easy for cleanup. So now when I get done, all I gotta do is take the tin foil out, throw it in the garbage, and we're done. Um, better yet, I can even save the tin foil and use it if I'm gonna save it in the peppers, but most likely these all get eaten up. I've got some friends coming over and we're gonna have, have a nice meal. So we're gonna put those in the oven. Like I said, it's gonna be 10 minutes, about five minutes. We're gonna flip them over. And then we're going to finish them. We're going to try to blister the skin, turn it black, and then we're going to peel it off. See you soon. Okay, folks, we're back. And that's our timer going off. It's been five minutes. We're going to slide our pan out real quick. And you can see how these are browning up really quite nice and blistering up. So then I'm just going to flip them over, give them a quick flip. And then place them back inside the broiler. And we're going to set it for another uh, five minutes. So we'll be back shortly. And uh, we'll be taking those peppers out and we'll get everything done. So see you back in about five minutes and we'll continue on. Okay, we're back. We're getting ready to take our chilies out of the oven. And you can see that they're nice and browned up now. We're going to take them and place them in our pan, or actually our mixing bowl. Take them from the pan. And then we're going to take some cling wrap and we're going to stretch it over tight because we want to seal this. So the whole idea is to seal this and make this airtight. And these are going to steam and inside there so that's how we've got these set up now we're going to let them sit for about 15 minutes then we'll be able to peel the skins off we're going to run them under cold water first we're then going to peel the skins off we're going to do a slice down the center or side of them we're going to take the seeds and the pith out of it rinse them out really good pat them dry with some uh, paper towel and then we'll add the cheese and we'll continue on from there okay we're back and we've got our chilies that have been steaming inside this bowl. We're going to remove the wrap. And you can see what they're looking like now. We're going to be taking them out one at a time. And I'm going to be rinsing them under cold water. We're going to rinse them off. Then we're going to peel the skin off. We're going to make that slit. Remove the pith and the seeds out of it. And then we'll start our stuffing process. So with that, I'm going to turn my camera so you can see my sink. Sorry about that, folks. I guess I had that down just a little bit more than uh, would the camera tripod would handle there. So let's run our cold water. And we're just going to run them over cold water real nice and quick. Doesn't take a whole lot. Just kind of cool them down and get them nice and cooled off. We're going to take some paper towel 
and we're going to pat them down. And we'll come back and I'll start slicing them and getting that going. Be right back. Okay, we're back. And I've rinsed off all the peppers and I have patted them dry. Now I'm just going to peel the skin off. And the skin will blister off. It'll just peel really nice and easily off of there. Just like so. Like I say, all we're trying to do is get this skin off. Because we're not going to eat that part and these are going to be so delicious. I don't know if you've ever had the chili rolinos, but it's just a delicious dish. One of my favorites. Um, so we've got that almost done here. That last little bit. Sticking just a little bit more to it. Okay. There's our, our chili. It's been, um, now we've had it where we've uh, taken off the skin off of it. I'm just going to pat it dry a little bit. And then I'm going to make a slit just along the edge here. And we're going to open it up and we're going to remove the seeds. So the easiest way to do that is kind of rinse it out with your sink. And we're going to take all the seeds out of it. Then we're going to pat it dry again. And then we're going to start to do our stuffing. Oh, a couple seeds left right there. So, we'll be back after we get these all ready to go. Um, then I will start slicing the cheese and we'll start putting some cheese inside of them. And um, once we get them all ready to go, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back again. We're on our next step. We're now going to, we've already uh, gone through and seeded out our peppers and we've blistered them, taking care of all that part. <clears throat> we're now going to take our queso cheese and we're going to cut strips that are about an eighth of an inch thick. So that's about what we're looking for. And we're going to line these peppers with the cheese. So we're going to continue on and we're going to line the peppers and then we're going to fold them over. Then we're going to put them into uh, all-purpose flour. I don't generally use all-purpose flour too much but for this we're going to use it. There is very little flour in this recipe. We're just going to do a light coating on it then we're going to put it on our egg mixture. So next when we come back I'm going to have these all taken care of ready to go. And then we're going to start building our um, chili relinos up. So the next step I'll be showing you is how to put up the egg mixture together. And that's something that we're going to be um, putting them in next before they go into the oil. Now one thing to keep in mind for the oil, I'm going to be using one cup of oil and I'm going to be using lard. I use lard to cook these type of things in. Um, it adds so much good flavor to it. It's a healthy thing. Don't use any Crisco, any of those vegetable shortenings, those type of things. They're horrible for your body. We try to stick with things that are a natural product. Um, these are a good natural product. Lard is not bad for you. So just get that in mind that using this for frying is not going to be bad for you. Okay, folks, we're back. And we're going to continue on with a couple things where we're going to get ready. So I've already put the one cup of lard in my skillet. I'm using a medium-sized skillet. Next, we're going to take two eggs. So I've got two eggs. And what we're going to do is we're going to separate the yolk from the egg. So the yolks are going to go into one bowl and the uh, whites are going to go into another. And then we're going to use a whisk. And I've also put in one tablespoon of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder into this bowl. This is the bowl that's going to hold the uh, yolks. So I'm going to take this bowl here, and the easiest way to do that is make your crack. And there's different people that do this different ways. But I just use my fingers to separate it out. And it works pretty good because it just kind of goes right between your fingers. And you can feel it, kind of squeeze it down through. And there you go, and now I've got the yolk right there. So I'm going to add the yolk like so. So I'm going to take the next egg, and we're going to do the same thing. Again... I'm putting the yolk right into my fingers and, and I'm going to let it pass through just like so. So nice and easy. 
So after doing that, I'm gonna rinse my hands real quick. And we're going to first take, and we're going to whisk this up. So this is gonna be the first thing we're gonna do, is whisk this up really nice. And we're gonna add this and fold this in with the rest of our egg mixture when we get done. So that's all nice and whisked in. And this is gonna be part of our coating for our chili rollitos before we put them in the fry. So we've got that part done. Next, I'm gonna take the egg whites and I've got a hand mixer, and I'm going to use my hand mixer, and we're going to make these all nice and fluffy. And when we've got nice fluffy peaks in it, we're going to take the egg yolk mixture, and we're going to mix it in with the, the uh, folded whites. We're going to fold it into it. So, just turn it on. And I always start on slow first. And after they start foaming up, you see how they're nice and foaming up? After that starts happening, I increase my speed up, now I'm on high, and we're going to keep doing this until we get a nice mixture. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So you can see that I've got my uh, egg whites all nice and fluffied up. You can see how they've got the peaks in there and so forth. Now we're going to take our egg yolk that we put in with our um, baking powder, and we're going to add that in, and we're going to fold this in. So, putting that in like so. Now when I say fold, that means not stirring. We're just gonna gently fold this mixture all together. Then we're gonna take our chilies, which we've already stuffed with cheese. We've already got them all prepared to go. And we're gonna take those and dunk them in flour. Then we're gonna dunk them in this mixture and then they're going to go into the frying pan, the skillet. Now I've got the lard um, heating up right now. So it'll be just a few minutes and we'll be doing that. So we've got that all nice and folded together. And I've got my flour here. Like I say, I don't use all-purpose flour very often. Um, but I have just found that almond flour or coconut flour don't seem to work very well for this. I do plan on trying some garbanzo bean flour. Um, I haven't, I did order some, I haven't gotten it yet, but I am going to start trying to use that and see if it works. And I'll probably try a couple times to see how it works, and then maybe I'll revise this video and give you an update on it and let you know. So we've got those ready. We've got our chilies already set and ready to go. So now we're just waiting for our oil to come up to heat. Once that comes up to heat, we'll be back. Okay, we're back, and our chili is, or our uh, oil is up to temperature now. So I'm going to start out with one of our chilies. So we've got it stuffed up. We're just adding some flour over top of it. Then we're going to put it into the egg mixture. And then we're going to transfer it into the oil and let that cook. Okay, we're going to let that cook. We'll be back, and we'll see you then. Hi, we're back. Let me turn my fan off for a second here, just because we're using that. We're getting ready to turn these. Oh, don't those look just delicious. There we go. Oh, it's cooking up so nice. Well, these will be ready shortly. Once we do, they're going to look like this plated, and then we're going to put some fresh cilantro. And remember that uh, creamy salsa verde we made? That's going to be the topper. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, we're back. And now I've plated the meal. So this is what it looks like. We're going to eat now. So I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. Um, please follow me on here on YouTube. For more uh, recipes, we're going to do lots more different kinds of things to cook. And then also, um, you can watch me, or not watch me, you can also uh, see more content. And you're going to be able to start seeing the cookbooks and things like that, that we're going to be doing, um, or should we, it's going to be me, but that I'm going to be doing on uh, my website, which is eatlocalpaleo.com. 
Uh, we're going to have cookbooks on there. There's going to be t-shirts, mugs, DVDs, and eventually here on YouTube, I'm thinking about doing a live show three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. If I can get enough people interested, we'll do that. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon. Thank you.